Hey guys, just doing a quick video review on the Idea USA um, Atomics Bluetooth headphones. First of all, a big thank you to WCB UK for kindly sending me out a sample. As always, I have no affiliation to the company itself. So, I'll give you a good look around the box. As you can see here, it's really nicely packaged. Um, and in your box, you will have your carry case, your headphones itself, your uh, micro USB charger, as well as the AUX cable and um, your instruction manual as well and you can see I just want to show you um, it's really nicely packaged inside and it sits really nicely so taking the headphones out already this is your carry case as you can see here and in your carry case you've got the slot for your headphones and you've got a slot for your cable so the cables that you have is your micro USB to charge it as well as a UX cable so if you don't have a Bluetooth enabled device you can still use this as well as um, if the Bluetooth runs out, um, the headphones still work, which is an added um, bonus. So if you are on, I don't know, mid-flight or you're somewhere where you can't charge the device, you can still listen to your music or uh, make your phone calls just by using the AUX cable. So to the headphones itself, so the headphones are collapsible and when they're in the carry pouch, they um, collapse in just like that and to open it up, all you do is you open it up and it clicks into place you've got your adjustment just there adjustment just there and I'll give you a good look around the headphones as well so you can see really nice um, metal effect finish just there and it's like a brushed uh, stainless steel effect you've got the Atomics branding just up here your headband um, and your headband is nice and thick on this as well other side and then you've got your Bluetooth controls just there so you can see that's your multi-function button and then that's your volume up, down, skip track buttons as well. Um, with the ear cups itself, you can just see here, these uh, have a slight degree of movement and what that allows you to do is get that perfect fit on your um, head. So you can just tilt it each one independently to get it to sit on your ears really nicely. Um, in terms of Comfort, I've been wearing this for the last week and a half now and it is really comfortable. It has a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light at the same time. Um, the ear cups, again, you can hopefully pick up. They're nice and thick. They've got a good level of resistance, but they're soft at the same time and they're supple. Um, comparing these to my AKG K452s, which have won various budget headphone of the year awards, um, these are really, really good. When they sit on the ear, I'll show you as well. So you can see it's not too pronounced. It sits on the ear really nicely as well. Um, if I have it around my neck when I'm not using it, again, you can see it looks fairly good. Um, it doesn't look out of place. Um, audio output, I suppose, is the key thing with these. And it's got a nice level of punch to it. Um, it's nice and bassy. The drivers are still wearing in, so over time, um, that bass should get a little bit more deeper and less... Um, not as harsh I'd say. We have the trebles as well. I, th I find the trebles at the moment because especially when I first got it the trebles were quite piercing and penetrating. Again that's beginning to sort of soften and become an even mix in terms of the trebles, the bass and the midtones as well. Um, to the actual functionality on this you can make calls, you can listen to your music, you can skip tracks, you can also call back the previous caller and you do that just by using the buttons here. So you literally turn it on and it will talk into your ears and it will let you know that it's turned on by making an audible tone and then you know it's turned on and it's got the flashing light as well. Um, you've got your microphone which is just located there in the middle, you've got your micro USB charging port as well as your um, AUX cable so everything is operated on one side. When I've been testing it out, I've been testing it out by making phone calls, listening to music, trying to skip tracks. I've had no issues with this sitting on my um, ears and then trying to change tracks as well. Um, so I found it really good. To the ratings, I'm pretty much going to echo what everybody else says. For a headphone brand that I've never actually heard of, it's really, really impressive. If you're after um, a decent pair of Bluetooth headphones that aren't extortionately priced but have a good level of sound quality base um, and are stylish and sleek looking as well um, I would definitely recommend these so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5 that's the end of my review guys as always thanks for watching